Yo, what is up guys? But Clouds back again with some more deep broken content. In today's video, we're probably gonna be going over one of the best methods to actually farm enchants because it's so easy and it's actually accelerator cheese farming method. Now, I didn't come up with this method. I actually found out about this from a YouTuber. I don't remember exactly who it is off the top of my head, but I'll edit it to showcase it in the video and also put his channel in the description below so you guys go subscribe to him. But it's actually pretty simple. All you need to get started is the um, manor key and how to get the manor key as you guys can see right here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get it. So first off, you need to make sure you have good reputation with Etris and to know if you have good reputation or not, they'll use your name. So you guys can see this said, welcome back Crow. It's good to see you again. If you guys don't have good reputation with Etris, they'll just say like, stay out of trouble traveler or, or hello uh, outsider or something like that. Now to actually increase your um, reputation, you actually have to either help the Etris like one, during events where they're fighting like other races or if, if you guys want an easy quick way to gain a lot of reputation pretty much just go to the blacksmith buy a bunch of wood and sell it to this guy it took me about 500 um, notes total to buy enough wood to sell this guy to get max reputation but after that after you guys have max reputation I'm just gonna quickly briefly go over this um, Next thing you need to do is you guys need to follow me right here. Once you guys have good reputation, you're going to go over here and Kenneth will be standing like right here in this corner. Again, I, I can't talk to him because he's dead for me, but he's going to be talking. He's going to be standing right here and he's going to say something like, uh, I need you to investigate the, the king for me or Lord Regent. After you talk to him, the next thing you want to do is you want to go talk to this guy inside this bookstore and you're going to, he, he's, you're just, you're just going to basically ask him this right here. Is there anything you can tell me about Etrius, who's Lord Regent, blah, 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 blah. After that, you'll see that Kenneth is gone um, because that's when he actually dies. When you talk, when you talk to that books guy store, he'll actually activate the, um, the quest, I guess, in a way. And after you talk to him. Kenneth will, will be dead so you no longer you no longer will see Kenneth over there and here's where you guys got to go next pretty much just follow exactly where I'm going we're, we're pretty much just gonna go to the campfire of uh, Etris and this is pretty much this is like a pretty easy start to get the manor key like I'm just trying to do this guide like really quick so you guys know what to do um, to get the manor key so yeah, you come up here you may have to have someone boost you I got wind though so I can just jump um, yeah you guys come up here Go over here. You guys will see that Kenneth is dead. Right here. He's dead. You guys won't actually see this until you guys do the other previous lines that I just told you to do. So when you find out that, you talk to this guy and he'll say you have an audience with Lord Regent. And then pretty much you gotta go back to where you first talked to Kenneth. I'm gonna speed this part up. All right, guys, so now we are at where we first talked to Kenneth, and then you guys go up here because we're actually going to go in the Royal Garden. Now, here's the thing, guys. You guys got to be careful. If you guys haven't done the previous things I told you to do, like get good reputation, talk to Kenneth, the whole quest line, you're not going to be able to go in here. If you guys try going in here, the guards will kill you instantly. But as you guys can see, I have um, a request to talk. Like Lord Regent has requested to talk to me. So you guys just got to remember that. Make sure you just talk to these guards so they don't kill you. They need to know that you have, uh, you know, been summoned by uh, Lord Regent. So let me talk to this guy. And then let me see. I can go in. So you guys go up here. And you just want to be careful. You just want to be careful with this. Don't walk too close to Lord Regent. Otherwise, he'll kill you automatically. You just want to walk close enough to start talking to him right here. So don't walk past this point because they literally just kill you right away. Now... He says different lines for me because he already gave me the key. But basically, when you guys have um, done everything I've done, talk to him. He'll give you like a quest line. He'll be like, you need to go kill the Lord of Arisia and get me the uh, Iron Forge or whatever. And he'll give you the key. Once he gives you the key, then we get into the next step, boys. All right, so I'm at Arisia right now, Lower Arisia. I'm not going to show you guys how to get there just because everyone should know how to get to Arisia by now. But pretty much just follow exactly where I'm going to 
find out how to get to accelerator um there's like a little maze you gotta go through i'm also going to show you guys how to cheese the golems so you guys don't have to deal with that to be honest because that is actually really annoying to deal with but yeah just pretty much follow exactly where i'm going i'm actually going to speed this part up until we get to the maze part that way you guys don't have to watch through this whole boring thing but it's still going to be there for the people that don't know how to get through it All right, so getting past this maze part is fairly easy. I mean, really, once you get in the caves of the Garden Reservoir, you pretty much want to go left for the most part, um, pretty much where I'm going. I think I will end up speeding this up a little bit because it is fairly straightforward on where to go. Uh, you pretty much just go all the way down this little area. I'm just over here waiting for my friends. This is an old recording, by the way. I recorded this earlier today, but... That's why I keep stopping. I was just waiting for my friends to catch up and stuff. But yeah, you pretty much just go all the way down here. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory I'm just going to speed it up at this point. All right, so this door right here is pretty much what you're looking for. Once you guys go all the way down and just take a right, you literally run right into this door. And straight from this door is exactly where you need to go. Once you guys go through this door, as you guys can see, you will end up running into a portal, which is right where we need to be. So you guys can see the maze wasn't like all too hard. Obviously, if you're going into this blind and you don't know what to do, it's going to seem like a decently hard task. But you'll see that once you guys know the way you guys can get through it like pretty quick. So so this gate right here is supposed to be closed. Someone already opened it that was in the server. But when it's closed, this is actually what you use the manor key for. And the thing is, in order to even open it with the manor key, you need the, the key needs to be glowing. If it's not glowing, you need to server hop to a different server. So yeah, my bad I didn't actually showcase me opening the gate, but you guys get the gist pretty much. So yeah, most of the rest of this is pretty easy. I'm not going to lie to you, pretty much just going through all the mobs. You can do this as a low level. You're just going to have to take this really slow. Um, killing most of these mobs are not very difficult. You can even do it solo at this point up in like the dining hall or... I don't know if this is a dining hall or not, but it's it's a, it's a hall. We had a server hop at that point. Um, for whatever reason, the elevator wasn't coming up. Uh, right now, as you guys can see, it is coming up, though. But in, in the previous server, it, it wouldn't come up no matter what we did. So, yeah. Going down the elevator. This next part, you guys are going to have to play this safe. However, I do have a cheese method to kill the golems that you guys can easily get through it. You guys can pretty much do this at any level. So long as you guys have the manor key, you guys can do this. Just need to take it slow. The lower level you are, the slower you need to take it. I'm like almost 40, so I was able to take it uh, a little bit faster. But yeah, we created a campfire right here just in case we needed it. But the cheese method we have in the golem is we actually stand on top of the statues and grab the golem that way. So I'm pretty sure my friend ends up dying right here. I don't exactly remember fully how it went. But we tried to pull only one of the golems, ended up pulling both of them. He ended up dying, so I ended up having to kill the golems pretty much by myself for the most part. But yeah, as you guys can see, we're about to fail this attempt right here. So yeah, this is where we pulled the golems right here. We actually ended up pulling both of them. My friend tragically ends up dying right here. But it doesn't even matter because look, you can easily cheese the golem by standing on top of the statue. You guys can see right here. Um, if you guys stand like on the edge as far as you can go, you're able to hit the golem without him being able to hit you. Like I said, uh, like I see right here. If you guys are too close on the edge, he'll be able to hit you with his beams. And I found this out the hard way, almost ended up dying. But as you guys can see right there, we killed the golem easy without taking any damage. And all you got to do is just stand on the statue. And I'm going to showcase me killing the second golem right now so you guys can see that as well. Um, it's like it's, it's it's honestly really easy like no cap like doing doing it this way is like super easy you won't have to really worry about dying and this is what i mean by you can still do this at lower levels all you need to do is get the uh, maximum rep that you need other than that though it's so long as you do the statue method you're pretty much good so showcasing it again i go on top of the statue and he's unable to hit me he's literally he's literally unable to hit me now like again if you're too far on the edge you will end up taking damage unnecessarily and you guys can see i'm not able to hit him yet but you need to get right on the edge right in the uh correct point that you need to be at to be able to hit him 
So yeah, once you find that perfect point, um, you're, you're pretty much set. But yeah, this that, that's how to kill the golems efficiently, to be honest. It's fairly easy. As long as you guys just do exactly what I'm doing, you guys will be fine. And yeah. Alright, so with the golem dead, now the next gate will open, and this is where the method actually comes into play. You guys will be able to get accelerator chests without even having to attack him a single time. And this is where you can be low level. Now, the reason this is such an efficient method is because you get a lot of items from the chest, and without even having to hit him, you can do this efficiently. I was able to, from a fresh server hop, get completely done and get the chest in around 7 to 10 minutes. So, if you guys are getting a big chest like this every 7 to 10 minutes, that's not too bad. So, what you guys want to do is you guys can see, you walk into the room, don't talk to him, let him walk up to you, and you want to walk all the way back to the elevator. Now, once you guys get to the elevator, you then walk back to the accelerator boss, and when you guys get back there, there will be a chest there. Now, you guys should be quick with this, because I'm almost certain that this method is going to get patched very soon. So I recommend you guys start farming as soon as you see this video and how to do it because this is kind of busted. This 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 is like low key a pretty brust busted way to you know get enchants and stuff because you're able to get chests that drop a lot of stuff frequently around every 10 minutes. Like if you're efficient with this, you could probably get like five or more chests every hour, depending on how efficient with you are with it. Sometimes it takes a little longer because server hopping, you might not find a server where the key is glowing, meaning you won't be able to get into the dungeon. So you might have to server hop for like a long time. But if you if, if you can get lucky, you can get five or more chests every hour. So you guys, so as you guys can see right here, now the chest is spawned and all this loot in there. I think I even got two legendary items, which were like the yellow ones or the orangish yellow ones. So yeah, hopefully y'all boys enjoyed this video. This method should be helpful for a lot of you guys. Get on it right now before it gets patched. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.